Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is the next episode of my solo RPG sim series and today we are finally over level 425 so we're going to be doing rogue hideout all episode. So off camera I did a ton of farming of the distant pawn creature and managed to get three poisonous creatures striking head. I mean we can't use it yet but that is fantastic for us. Anyways, in there, I'm thinking uh, Ice Queen should be pretty effective with Calamity, Shatter, and Mending. Obviously, we still got the Pickaxe, so it shouldn't be that hard. I'm going to be using the uh, Gem Trinket for that health. That should be pretty nice, and then the Ring of Pink Lightning gives me some good crit and offense. So we're going to do it on normal first, just to like test the waters. I'm expecting it not to be too difficult, and if we like steamroll this, we're going to do it on hardcore. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I... um. Yeah, we're gonna do it on hardcore. There's no reason to do this on normal. This is so easy with the pickaxe. I do think the Snow Queen strat will be very nice to do on hardcore because we're gonna need to run probably a lot of circles. Oh wow, we one-shotted him with Shatter. I didn't need to mend there. Anyways, I do think on hardcore, like I said, we're gonna run a lot more circles around. It will be harder. They will have a lot more health, but honestly, the pickaxe is so broken. I am so happy it's never been nerfed. Zeph, never never nerf it, please. It is so nice at low levels. So I'm looking for uh, Dusk Flame, the Ring of the Defenders, and then of course the armor. Come on, stats, you can do it. I believe in you. Classic RPG sim. Let's hop into hardcore. All right. So I guess now we find out how easy it really is going to be. I really don't think this is going to be a struggle remotely. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is ridiculous. The pickaxe makes everything so easy. So we're just gonna be doing hardcore this entire time. Um, I might test out Lunar next, but the reason why I don't wanna do that is because I don't wanna necessarily go for a Havoc strat at this level, because if you think about it, at this level, doing stuff on hardcore, you're gonna level up a lot, and every time you level up in this game, you heal to max health, so our Havoc would be kinda useless. And also, I don't really wanna risk getting hit a bunch in here either. God, we're, we're gonna steamroll through this. Oh, Shade has quite the speed to him. I didn't realize that. I mean, I don't think it's a problem at all, obviously. If we critted that Shatter, that would have been it. God, I've never done this raid so easy on level in my life. Come on, armor, first drop. First drop, armor. Come on, first hardcore run, armor. Dang it. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that Rune Crystal bag. Oh, are we max speed? We are 52 out of 52, so let's turn on uh, Potion Toggle. Anyways, that was pretty dang easy. Um, let's keep going. And I don't know if you guys saw that Flame God in my inventory. The only reason why I'm not using it is because you can't use Acceleration Divider until level 500, but you can use the Rune at 400, so it's kind of weird. Anyways, again, I'm saving up my Rune Crystal Shards so I can craft some Tier 3s. If I can get an Azure Rune, I'll be very happy. It'll make everything so easy, but until then, I think we're gonna rock the Ice Queen. I mean, it's really putting in the work. There really is no struggle here, and also it's Potion City. Like, we're getting a potion every second. It's fantastic. And there's one thing I'm gonna have to do. I will have to eventually AFK farm pots on this character. I haven't done that in a long time. But let's see. Yeah, we're doing pretty bad on attack and HP, but I mean, our crit is halfway, right? No, no, it's not halfway. God, it is nowhere near halfway. We are miles. I mean, at least we got max speed, but max speed is so extremely easy to get. It's not a struggle at all. And shatter armor. I mean, we'll take that. Uh, you know what? For funsies, we're going to try the flame. But it'll have to be Windstorm and Shatter with Havoc, which might still actually work. I really wish I could use Accelerated Divider, but we'll see. This should this should still work. Let's see here. All right, let's see. And then I'll just bounce in between. Ah, this might be faster, except for the cooldown on the Shatter is so much bigger than I thought it was. All right, maybe Windstorm on his own can shred. Uh, eh, eh, I don't know. I, I might honestly whip uh, whip out Lunar next run. This isn't this isn't that great. I'm gonna save the Shatter for the Shade because Aatrox is very weak. Dusk Flame, dang it! I would love a Dusk Flame. Anyways, Shatter. Yeah, that Shatter just does so much damage. Oop! I did not have Calamity. Oh well. Okay. Well, that would have been it if I had Calamity on, but I guess that's okay. If we get the armor this run, our damage is also going to explode a bit. 
Same with our health. Let's see. No, still no, still no there. Oh well. Okay, let's do let's do lunar this time. Why not? Uh, probably moon cutters and cyclone. All right, let's see. Are you better? Oh my God, you are so much better than Snow Queen. I mean Ice Queen. Yeah, this is definitely the way to go. I should have been doing this from the start. I mean, I, I did make a rune tier list the other week, and I literally put Lunar at an A and Ice Queen at a B, and yet in here I wasn't using it this way. Oh well. Oh well, I guess we could experiment a little bit. Just Calamity, Cyclone, Moon Cutters. This dude does not want to give us the armor. I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, hold up. I didn't even notice we got the Kralos Ring of Defenders. And we got Dusk Flame. Okay, that had to have happened that run. Either that or I'm blind, but I guess there's the rings done. Now we just need the armor. And I do not care about the weapons because both of the weapon drops from this raid are a lot worse than Pickaxe, believe it or not. I won't be... Uh, the only, The next best weapon for me is the blue Azure Daggers from Ness of the Colossal, so... Still a while to go. God, we do so much damage. And dead. Awesome, awesome. On to Zaytrox. I didn't realize if you, like, go inside of them and then do Cyclone, it kind of shreds. And also one thing, comment down below if you guys also think this is weird that the second boss has more health. I mean, has less health than the first boss in here. I always thought that was kind of weird that the second one was easier, but... Alright. Armor this time? No, I mean, we're getting a lot of rune crystal bags. I won't complain about that. All right, let's check our stats now. What are we at? 216 crit, that's gone up a lot. And we gone up about 100 attack and I think around 100 HP. All right, so that was an amazing teleport fail. Gotta love it. I do want to check something in runes. Okay, no, you can't. I was going to see if Azura is technically a tier two and three and I was going to go for it, but it is not. Let's hop right back into Rogue Hideout in Hardcore. I gotta love how the fact that the runs never go up in Rogue Hideout, they're broken, but I think it's because it's an AFK able one. Anyways, let's shred. Hopefully this is the armor run. It would be fantastic if it was. I'm gonna be farming this so much off camera as well, just because you get so much of everything. It's gonna be such a nice upgrade for my uh, fake Shosko character. I love it. All right, Cyclone, Moon Cutter. Oh, we didn't kill him that time. Last run, we must have got a lucky crit or something. All right, come on. Be the run with the armor. Be the run with the armor. Or at least one of the weapons for funsies, because I'll, I'll use it as a vanity. So it looks like I'm using one from the raid. And then Moon Cutters. A on Q, we did get the Hex Daggers. So, I mean, all jokes aside, I do kind of like it as a vanity. It's all right. This is an all right vanity. I think we leveled up like 15 times already as well. We also have a magical number of raid coins. Gotta love it. Any more dailies we complete? Oh. Oop. All right. Let's do a few more runs of this. I mean, the game is not being too nice to us today. And then honestly, next episode, we might start with not only the floating aisles, but also get a bit of pet gym stuff. Every episode, I should really work on that. But I'm gonna try to get some purple solidifiers off camera before I hop back in there. All right. Cyclone inside, moon cutters. Oh, we didn't get it again. I think that first time where we killed him with just cyclones and one thing of moon cutters, we must we must have got a lucky crit that we don't normally get. All right, calamity, cyclone, moon cutters. Easy, dude. They're not being nice to us today. And the, here's the thing: the hex daggers is a one percent drop rate, and the armor is a five percent drop rate. So. Well, I'll trade out the Hex Daggers for the armor, dude. I'll trade out the Hex Daggers for the armor any day. I don't need them Hex Daggers. Alright. This is the one. This has to be the one. The game is listening to me. This is it. It's like Shosko. I shall give you the armor. Either that or Shurikens of Time, please. I'll take that. But if I get the Shuris of Time before I get the armor, I am going to laugh. Cyclone. Amazing, amazing. We're getting... All the defense potions ever. Love it. Oh, that was... That did not do nearly as much as it normally does. Okay. Come on. Shade. Listen to me, man. This is the run that you want to be friendly. Come on. Be friendly. Be nice to me. Or not. <laughs> well, that, that was a lot of damage, not gonna lie. Still no armor. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do it until I'm level 450, 
If I can't get it in the next two runs, I'm gonna end the episode off. Be the run. Be the run I have been hoping for this whole time. Please. Ooh, Insta Kralos kill. That is a good sign, I think. We're doing a lot more damage out of nowhere. We must have got a. F oh, yeah, our attack is way higher now. Cyclone. Moon Cutters. Come on, dude. You want to do it. You want to give me it. I know you do. Oh, come on. All right, I'm going to do one last run and then I'm going to end the episode off there and I will be farming this a lot off camera. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to end the episode off there because I keep TP failing. I've tried like six times now to launch a raid and it won't let me. So Roblox might be going down again. Anyways, guys, comment down below if you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did as well. Subscribe for more and let me know what else you want to see from me. See ya.